Good afternoon and welcome to Carl and Cymru Revision Sessions. This session will focus on GCSE Welsh Second Language and will be once again presented by Miss Stevens from Althas School. The session will last around 45 minutes where the teacher will go through the relevant subject content. If you have any questions, please use the question and answer section and we'll endeavour to answer your questions during the session. The session will be recorded and the recording will, and any relevant resources will be uploaded to the EASCO website shortly after the session in the Carlin Cymru area. So without further ado, I'd like to hand you over to Miss Stevens. Diolch. Prynhawn da pawb, croeso. Croeso nôl i sesiwn dai am yr sesiwn adolygu Cymraeg a'l iaith. So welcome and uh, welcome back to the second session of the Welsh Second Language um, revision session today. So here today we're going to be focusing on some reading tasks for the Unit 3 examination. Now you may be familiar with some of these. We're going to do, we're going to look at proofreading tasks. So some of you may know those as correction tasks and we're also going to look at translating tasks. Um, so both of which um, are going to be in the Unit 3 exam and can be, um, they're both worth 10 marks each but they can have some difficult elements to them. So let's have a look and start us off. So, no dar session heddi. The aims of the session today, um, we're going to revise commands to start because commands come up in both um, translation and correction tasks at times. We're going to look at questions that may come up in the both written papers that may include commands. We're going to use some commands to give advice and then we're going to discuss and complete both proofreading tasks and a translation task as well. OK, so let's have a look at the at the starter task I've got for you here. Task ddechrau gorch mynion. So um, commands. Now you may be familiar with commands. OK, now think about commands that you may use, uh, your teacher may use in class with you. So for example, uh, when you walk into a class, your teacher may say I or dewch i mewn. Now, you may notice that at the end of uh, most commands is the word ooch, three letters, W-C-H, ooch. And that should tell you that it's a command, that they want you to do something, okay? Now, to find the command form in Welsh is quite straightforward. We need to find the stem of the word. So we need the verb first, we need the doing word. We need to find the stem, the smallest possible part that that verb can go to. And then we need to add ooch. Now, to find the stem, you find out if the verb ends in um, particular letters, you drop them and then you add the letter ooch. So, for example, um, if the word ysgrifennu to write, um, does ysgrifennu end in I, O, U, A, Eg, Ed or F? It, if it does, we drop the letter. So in this instance, it ends in U, so we drop it and we're lef left with ysgrifenn and then you add ooch to it. So you'd end up with a skrivenuch, which means write. So I want you to write this. OK, so um, what I'd like you to do, please, is um, I just like you to try and find the stems of the word, first of all. And then I've put the ending, the command, the uchs in the second column. So if you find the stem for the middle one, the second one, and if you try and use the stems that I've put in there, so I've put in a skriveni, right? So think about what letter you need to get rid of there. No D is to note, think about what letter you need to get rid of there. And Roy is to give, so think about what letter you need to get rid of at the end there. Um, and remember, if it ends in I, O, U, A, Egg, Ed or F, we need to drop that letter. And then obviously we add the ending of Ooch, so you can write that in the third column of what it would be together. So I'll give you a couple of minutes now. If you could write your answers in the chat, then that would be great. So we can double check them. OK, off you go. Vantachy. So ysgrifenni, you get rid of the U, OK? And then you add uch to it and you get ysgrifenni, which means to write. So for the second one, darllenni, I've got in the third column and I've got uch in the middle. So what's the stem of darllenni? Try and put that in the first one. And what does darllenni mean in English? Nodi, to note. 
Um, what letters you get rid of there? We'll look at the list of letters that you need to get rid of. You get rid of the I, so you're left with nod. Add uch to it, nod uch. So what does that mean? And the last one, roi, is to give. So once again, it ends in I, so we get rid of that, so you're left with ro. And add uch to it, roch. And what does that mean in English? OK, so we're just going to go through the answers now then, um, and you can check them against your um, your own answers. So we've got ysgrifennwch, which means to write. We've got darllennwch, which means to read. Nordwch, which means to note. And roch, which means give. OK, so you may be, they may give you roch if they want you to give a reason, for example. Or they may give you ysgrifennwch if they want you to write your answer. Or they may say to you, darllennwch yn ofalus, read carefully. And then they want you to answer some questions on that. OK. So moving on now then, uh, we're going to look at question nice in Gallu Dod Lan, questions which can come up in our holiad, sin cannois gorchmynion. So questions that they can ask you that um, include commands. So you, if you understand the command, you'll understand what exactly the question's um, asking you to do. So that's really important. So what I've done on the left-hand side is I've written some commands that could come up in questions. So for example, darllennwch is to read and the stem there underlined as darllenn. A scrivenuch to write. Tikyuch, fonyuch, uh, roch is to put, so put uh, or give a reason, okay? Uh, Noduch, note. Atebuch, to answer. Discrivyuch, to describe. Govanuch, to ask. And llenuch, to fill in. So if they say llenuch a table, they want you to fill in the table, okay? So um, practice saying those after me then, okay? So dar llenuch. Ysgrifennwch, tycwch, ffoniwch, rwch, nodwch, atebwch, disgrifiwch, gofynwch, allenwch. OK, and that will give you, if the, if the question starts with a command, you will at least understand the start of it and that may help you with your answer because you may actually understand the text and you may understand that you've got to, um, that you've got to do something. You may have some boxes where you've got to, um, show that you understand a particular question, but if the question says tikyuch and you put a circle, then you're not going to be awarded those marks. Okay, so it's really important that you read the questions carefully and you understand the commands that it may be asking you to do. So what I'd like you to do now then is have a look at the examples I've given you on the right hand side. So I've put these now into context. Okay, so instead of just darllenuch, I've written darllenuch a paragraph. Instead of just tikyuch, I've written tikyuch ratib kawir. Instead of roch for um, put or to give, for example, I've written roch gilch o gumpas rata. Kilch is a circle, OK? A tebuch a question. So look back to what a tebuch is and see if you can work out what a tebuch a question is. Noduch beth mar person an moin hai ac yn casai. So look to what noduch means. Think about what we did last week. Beth meaning what. So note what the person an moin hai. I can kasai. Okay, always break it down in the question if you don't know what it means, and try and um, chunk your answers to try and work out different chunks of the answer or the question. Gofynnwch question i John. Llenwch y grid o nofalus o rhwch dai reswm. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes now to try and work out what those questions mean. Write your answers in the chat. Um, just write them in. Don't write them in Welsh. Just write them in English as you go along. Doesn't matter what order you write them in and we'll go through them and check if you've understood those questions. So, Diane, I can see someone has written Darllenwch y paragraph. Darllenwch, as you can see on the left hand side, means read. So darllenwch y paragraph is quite simply read the paragraph. Tikiwch yr ateb cawer. Let's see if anyone can get that one. Diane. Yeah, yeah. So tick the active cowir. Now you may have come across cowir when you're doing work in class on cowir and cowir, true and false. Well, in this instance, it means correct. So tick the correct answer. Okay. Rhoch gilch o gwmpas yr ateb. 
Broch gilch. Put a circle around the answer. Now, that's an important one for you to understand, because as I said, if you tan lineshoch, if you underline a question that's asking you to put a circle, you risk losing those marks, OK? A tebuch a question, quite simply answer the question. No duch beth mar person an moin hai ac yn casai. Note what the person enjoys, moin hai, ac yn casai and hates. Gofynnwch question i John, ask, is gofynnwch, ask John a question. So they may have given you a reading test and they're asking you to ask him a question based on what you've read. Um, so you could, um, if John mentions about Chwaraeon, uh, for example, then you may say, oitin hoffi peldroid, or oitin cadwn heini, do you keep fit? Okay, uh, llenwch y grid yn ofalus. Fill in the grid yn ofalus carefully. And roch dai resum, which you may or you will see when you have um, five mark questions. Question I pin mark, give two reasons. So they're expecting their two separate reasons, okay? And not just listing, but separate reasons completely, separate sentences, okay? So work out how many of those you got um, correct. So let's have a look. See if you can work those out. So we had read the paragraph, tick the correct answer, put a circle around the answer. Um, answer the question, note what the person enjoys and hates, ask a question to John, fill in the grid carefully and give two reasons. OK, so still on commands then, let's have a look at a, uh, Roy Cungor giving advice. Um, now, advice is something that can be quite difficult, but you can use commands to help you. So in the help box on the right hand side, I've got a couple of commands for you. So the original word for to stop is stop your. Um, but when we drop the O and add ooch, we get stop you. And that is telling somebody to stop doing something. So um, stop you redeg, stop running, stop you sharad, stop talking. OK, and they can be followed by a verb. You've also got paid you, don't do something. A uh, paid you, OK, is the word paid you, uh, don't do something. Um, and then the other two phrases I've got for you there are ones and other phrases you can use when you're giving advice. So you can use a mixture of commands and persuasive language. OK, so you've got deleti, which is the conditional tense there. You should deleti or delechi both mean the same thing. One singular, one's plural. You should. So delechi gerdded, you should walk. Delechi sharad, you should speak. Delechi um, ascriveni, you should write. Just so that you are aware, Daleti and Dalechi do require a mutation after them in your written work. OK, um, and then the last one on the list in the box is Raidity or Raidichi. You must. Once again, T is singular, Chi is plural. OK, you must do something. So let's have a look at the um, questions I've got on the left hand side there. So using the commands and using that help box, how would we say stop smoking? So let's have a look then at what stop is. So stop, if we look at the right hand side, is stop you. I want you to stop doing it, OK? It's the command. A stop you. What's the word for smoking? A smuggy. So the answer would there be stop you, a smuggy, OK? Number two, Reef die within. Don't run. So look at the right hand side for don't, which is paid you on this occasion. OK, um, paid you a redeg to run page you have redeg okay don't run let's see if you can write your answers for um three four and five three pedwar a pimp and a chat okay so see if you can work out stop throwing rubbish now to throw is tavli um you should talk to your teacher and you must go tonight he not let's see if you can uh, write those in the chat box there um, I can also see in the chat that some of you have given some of the answers to the previous task and they were spot on. So So try doing three pedwar and pimp. But I'm going to give you a minute now to have in the chat. OK, so stop throwing rubbish. So split it up into sections. Do stop first, the command form, then do throwing or throw tavli and then work out what rubbish is. You should talk to your teacher. Look on the right hand side is for you should talk to, think about what the word for talk is or speak, and then think about teacher. Um, so you will have learned that in school at some point, I'm sure. And Reef Pim, you must go tonight. So look on the right hand side for you must. Go is minute, and then tonight, henna. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute now, a scrivenia chatebia, and a chat as well for that. 
any words you don't know as well, please feel free to ask the question in the chat and I will help you with the answers, okay? And what I want you to do as well is if this comes up in your exam and you're struggling to think of the actual word, try and think of a word which has a similar meaning. OK, try and think of a way around it. So, for example, if you didn't know the word for wage, then you could use add the and money instead. So try and think of like for like words if you're struggling with the exact word that comes up on the paper. And that applies to the translation task, which we're going to have a look at in, in a little while. OK. Right tap, or a tap beyond tap. Um, so stop throwing rubbish. We've got stop you. Tavli throwing. Spuriel was the word for rubbish. You should talk to your teacher. You should. We'll use Dalechi for now because that may be the one you're most familiar with. So Dalechi Sharad. A. Sharad is always followed by A with a roof on it like that. Okay. Sharad A. Now, if you want to say um, a vowel after a, it becomes ag. So, sharad ag athra, ne sharad ag athrawes. Um, and you must go tonight. So, rai dichi, you must vind hinna, um, because we've got mutation in that. Okay. So, um, mark your own work there and see how many you got correct. Okay. Da yan arverha. Excellent work up to there. So let's have a look moving on then at proofreading tasks. So proofreading tasks or correction tasks um, include three different types of mistakes and they tell you those in bullet points at the top of the question. So they have uh, spelling, sillafi, camgymeriad uh, sillafi, uh, punctuation, atal nodi, uh, grammatic grammar errors. Now spelling mistakes can consist of um, words spelt incorrectly, familiar words that you should know, things like months of the year, um, particular numbers, times, things like that. The word for half past or o'clock, for example. Incorrect use of words, so mixing up maybe a noun and a verb or mixing up words which are really similar. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples here. Chwair or chwarai, so one means sister, chwair. Chwarai is to play. Um, another one which comes up, um, which uh, people make mistakes on, on guilio and guiliai. One meaning to watch, guilio, and guiliai meaning holiday, so they're very different meanings, okay? Certain letters in words in the wrong order, so maybe um, the W and the Y the wrong way around, for example, with bu or with soiva, office, where the W and the Y are in the middle. And things like English spellings instead of Welsh spellings, so words like um, cafe being spelt, um, not in the Welsh way, um, and things like that, okay? So those are different types of spelling errors that could come up. Then you've got punctuation, atal nodi, um, and now you're expected to know things like capital letters. So when should capital letters be used? Um, for places, for months of the year, um, languages should always have a capital letter. So things like camraig, which will be on the front of the paper with a capital letter, um, saisneg, spineg, franeg, um, question marks as well if questions are asked. So that can come up very often. Um, the apostrophe, um, not the apostrophe, the roof, the little tobach on the top of letters. So pale droid needs the little roof on the first E, otherwise it becomes pale droid, not pale. So that's why we add it there. Um, apostrophes missing in things like achos mine, duin, ear. So there's a difference between E and ear. E is two and ear is to the. And then you've got grammar mistakes as well, which grammar errors, which could come up. OK, now grammar are your mutation errors. Um, difference between noun and verbs, a gwaith or gweithio there. Um, soft mutation can come up quite often in this. A nasal mutation, aspirate mutation, trigla slice. The difference between a and ak, the both words there mean and. Um, a is used before a consonant and ak is used before a vowel. So it just purely depends what the word following the and is, uh, what letter that begins with, which one of those you use. The difference between er, er and apostrophe r, they all mean the. You use y, so the, er, you use that um, before a consonant. You use yr for the, er, before a vowel. And you use an apostrophe r if the previous word, the word before the the, ends in a vowel. OK, um, and also tenses are making sure the person that's doing it matches the verb. So, for example, de lech, ech there matches the chi, for example. OK. 
So let's have a look to see um, at those. So what I'd like you to do now, we've got um, a couple of different tasks for you to complete here. OK, so I've got a Sillavi, an Atanodi and a Trigladi question. So we're going to look at the Sillavi first and it says, Roch gilch o gwmpas y gair sy wedi eu tanynellu'n anghawyr. OK, so put a, um, put a circle, but obviously you're going to write yours down. So put a circle, the word which has been spelt incorrectly. So this is good practice for you, for you to realise um, what words you're confident with the spelling of and what words you need to look after. So the first three words, you've got Gorfennaf, Mehevin and Chwevra. OK, all of the months. Gorfennaf, July, Mehevin, June and Chwevra, February. OK, what I'd like you to do for this task, write in the chat for me which word you think out of those three months is spelt an ang hawir incorrectly. OK, so two of them are spelt fine. One of them is spelt incorrectly. So can you write in the chat now which one is incorrect? So think about the months of the year. OK, think about how you say the word, right? Gorfennav, mehevin, chwevror, and check all the letters. Um, all the sounds of the letters are there as well. OK, so I'm going to give you in, uh, well, hand in a minute, half a minute now to write in the chat what word you think is incorrect. So um, some of you may have realised the incorrect word spelling of the word there is Gorfennav. Gorfennav is July spelt double F in the middle, double N as well. So it's an easy way to remember it in the middle of the word double F, double N. OK, um, look at the second one now then. Spineg, Cymraeg, Franneg. All of those are languages and all of them are school subjects as well. So Spineg is Spanish, Cymraeg, Welsh, Franneg, French. OK, now once again, one of those is spelt incorrectly. So can you work out um, which one of those is incorrect and write your answer in the chat? Look at Reeve Tree, Pale Ruid, Pale Droid and Golf. And I told you that we did need the Torbach, we needed the roof on the pale. So those are correct. So there must be a spelling mistake elsewhere. So Pale Ruid, Pale Droid and Golf. Which one of those is spelt incorrectly? Reef Pedwar, number four, Orgloch, Orgloch, or Hanner. Which one is incorrect? So all of those are to do with time. And the last one, Café, Café, or Buiti. So all of them Welsh words to do with um, places you can have food, Buit. Um, which one is incorrect and why? OK, so I don't mind what order you do them. Just write your answers in the in the chat. Diane, we've had Franneg as the um, incorrect one for number two. That's spot on. So it's missing a G. So the letter in the middle of Franneg is NG, Franneg. OK, so that needs a G, E, G at the end, not just E, G. Um, what about Pale Roid or Pale Droid or Golf? Which one do you think is wrong there? Think of how you say them. So sometimes saying them out loud will help you. Pale Roid, Pale Droid. Uh, golf in this instance. OK, or gloch, or gloch, hanner. Now, these are words which are commonly misspelt. OK, so I'll give you hanner a minute now to write any of, of the other misspelt uh, words in the chat and then we'll go on to the punctuation. Diane, so um, we have Diane, so pale droid is the first, the first one is the one which is um, incorrect. OK, so pale droid is actually spelled, pale is correct, roid is spelled R-W-Y-D. OK, R-W-Y-D, pale droid. Um, that means netball, pale droid, football, golf is golf. The fourth one, or gloch, the first one is correct, is the middle one that is wrong. It's missing that apostrophe R, or gloch. OK, o'clock and hanner is half. And the last one, kaffee is correct, the first one. Look at the middle word. It's not been spelt in the Welsh way, so that would make it incorrect. OK, and boiti is another word for a restaurant, tea boita. OK, let's have a look at the punctuation now then. So we've got three uh, statements, three dat ganyad, 
And we're going to say if the punctuation in these statements is kawir or ang hawir, is it correct or is it incorrect? Okay, so the first one says, Oitin meddwl bod aber tawe yn well na dimbych y pasgod. Oitin meddwl. Do you think that Swansea is better than dimbych y pasgod tenbi? What do you think? Is that exclamation mark cawir or is it ang hawir? Pop your answers in the chat for me so we can discuss. Rhif dai number two, mae fy mhen blwydd i ym mis ebrill. My birthday is in Mis Ebrill in the month of April. So um, remember what we said that months need and then decide if that statement there is Kawir or Ang Hawir. A Reef Tree Widin, the third one, Dwin Gwilior Taledi Pob Nos. I watch TV every night. Is that Kawir or Ang Hawir? So Diane, we've had some answers in. That the first one is actually ang hawir. The first one is um is incorrect because it's a question, isn't it? Oitin Do you think that Swansea is better than ten b? So it needs a mark question. Okay, it needs a question mark. So that's something you need to be aware of. If it's a question, make sure it's got a question mark. Let's have a look at Reeve Dai. My from hem bloidi and mis ebril. That was also incorrect. Ebril means April, so ebril needs a capital letter. Okay. Uh, Diane, that's just coming in on the chat as well. And the last one, do we call your lady Pob North? I watch TV every night. Nothing wrong with that. So that was correct. OK, and on the right hand side of then, we've got um, some trans and um, some triglades, some mutations. So these would class as grammar errors. OK, so let's have a look. Um, I've underlined, as you would have in your exam, I've underlined the incorrect word. OK. And on the right hand side, you've got a table showing you the tree glad me that the soft mutation. So very often um, we can do mutations if we're just given the word, but we need to be able to put them in context and use them in sentences. So Reeve Ian and Dwight. Um, so Reeve Ian and Dwight. Um, Dwayne Minnet am Pathevnos. Now am is a word that causes a tree glad me that am causes a soft mutation. So look at the grid and tell me what pathevnos turns to. So it's only the first letter that needs to change. OK, so it's only the P that needs to change. So look at the grid and tell me what pathevnos changes to. Write your answer in the chat for me, OK? And then, Reeve Dai, my friend and gwylio'r taledi ar dydd mawrth ac ar nos llun. So there's two words in here which cause a soft mutation. Ar, meaning on, okay? So like ar a teledi, on TV, or um, ar a sofa, on the sofa, ar dithin, on Monday. Ar causes a soft mutation. So what does the D of D need to change to? Okay, have a look at that. The, another word that causes a mutation is nos, meaning night. So you've got am causes a mutation, ar which causes a mutation, and nos, which cause a mutation, and all three of those words cause a soft mutation. So you can use the grid on the right to help you. So think about what um, nos would change to. So nos clean changes to nos something. OK, so let's go through the answers then. Pathevnos would change to bathevnos, a B, the same way you may have seen um, pert pretty change to bert before. Ar dydd mawrth goes to ddydd mawrth, OK? Um, and llun goes to lean. You just drop one of the L's, OK? Dwi'n dod o Cymru, I come from Wales, goes to dwi'n dod o Gymru. Capital G still though, because it's a place, OK? So Diane, some really good work there. Uh, ar ddechog. So what I'd like you to do now then is I'm going to try and put this into practice. So we've got a proofreading task here which says, Shamai, the Enui Adiguen, to in Bill and Castelnade, Actu in Dodo Cumbri, my Castelnade and Prosirian are Penoithnos, my Castelnade, your Duirano Abertawe, my Abertawe and Zinus are Verho. Dalecti Dodi Abertawe, Daddy Dim Flower of Problem, my on my problem, Gadasburiel. Hoffa you well, Tlaios Burial, for Hof lay at the Stadium of Liberty, Achos Manka Frois, or study question Gadahiam a Stadium Fonio. Okay. So what I want you to do now, there's a mixture in here between 
um, spelling mistakes, uh, punctuation errors and grammatical errors, so mutations and, and the verb not matching the person. So what I'd like you to do now in the chat, I want you to write what you think these change to. Now, it doesn't matter on a task like this if you don't fully understand every single word in the text. OK, so what I want you to do is just look at the words in bold and underlined. Those are the incorrect words. Yes, it's worthwhile going back and reading the sentence before um, to, to find out the context and the definitely the word before and the word after, because obviously that's going to affect it mutation wise. But the most important thing is that you try and you attempt all of these questions, the words that are underlined and in bold. OK, so what I want you to do now, hang on a minute, half a minute. Let's get some ideas um, going. Pop in the chat which um, what you think those change to. So I'll give you a bit of a clue. Do we boo and castell need that needs a triglad trwy not a nasal mutation? So change the C. Um, I live in the in there. If you're saying I live in somewhere causes a, a, a nasal mutation. Do we dod or Cymru where we had that on the other page? Castell need and prosiriam. Now, if an adjective follows un, you need a soft mutation. So um, think about that. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Ir um, Let's have a look what we said, maybe missing there. There's something missing. Um, Dalech T. Does the T match the ech there or do we need to change it to something different? Um, Dadidim. Ooh, that doesn't look quite right. And Dadis underlined, so we know it's wrong. Hoffai e. Now, how do you say I would like to see less rubbish? Achos mein kafrois. Think about what um, the soft mutation would change the C to. Um, os a di question gadechi. And fonio, we need the command from there for fonio. So what do we change fonio to? OK. Right. Uh, so um, we have. Um, Dwi'n byw yng Nears. Neydd. So it's actually not a G, it's an N-G-H, and Hastell Neydd, okay? And that is the nasal mutation, okay? So um, Dwi'n Dod o Gymru, that was your soft mutation there. Prysur means busy, so it changed to Brysur, which a lot of you got, so da iawn. Um, Hastell Neydd i'r dwi rhain, just needed an apostrophe in the middle there. My Abert Tower and Vinas are their hog, Delechi. Now, Ech and T don't match. So it should have been Delechi. Now, um, some of you may have changed Delechi, but be careful that you're only changing the word that is underlined. That is the word they want you to change, not the word before. OK? Daddy Dim. Well, when we want to say there's not a lot of problems in Swansea, we say Doist Dim. OK? There isn't lots of problems, or there aren't lots of problems. Hoffuni is how you say hoffai e. So the ending there didn't quite match the person. Um, and we had kafrois, which turned to gafrois with your same thing again, your adjective causing your soft mutation. The last one, is, uh, the last but one is quite difficult. Um, os ois is meant to be. If you have a question, os ois question gadachi. So that's something that may be worth learning for your exam, okay? Os ois question gadachi. If you have a question, then fun your phone. OK, so die on there. We're just going to move on now quickly to look at um, some Kavyethi translating. OK, now for translation tasks, you need to know several keywords and phrases. So you need to know commands, which we did at the start of the session. We need to know um, questions, which we did last week. Poi, ble, read. Um, you need to know some small words which have come up already today. Am meaning at. Un meaning in, ar meaning on, um, e meaning to, gada, frindiai, with is gada. Okay, you also need to know some idioms, things like weithiai, fel arfer, um, hefyd, also, um, un gynta, firstly. Uh, tenses are really important, so I've put three main things there for you to know. Okay, if you want to say there is, present tense, you use the word my. So there is, is my. If you want to say there was, past tense or imperfect tense, you say roiv. So be careful if they ask you, or there was a party, or there is a party, they'll expect different words. And there will be beef, okay? So my is present tense, roiv, past tense, beef, future tense. And in the green box on the left hand side, we've got two phrases which are really, really useful for you. So practice saying these after me. 
Croeso i bawb, which means all are welcome. So that's definitely a phrase worth learning. Croeso i bawb and am voi o wabodaith for more information. And obviously the O there has caused the mutation on wabodaith. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this translation task. So we're going to split it up in sections because translation can be quite difficult. So we're going to split it up and we're going to do it line by line. OK, so we're going to look at the first one, which says come to the St. David's party. OK, um, so um, I got to say, first of all, the die down on the correction task. Some really, really good answers there. So come to the St. David's party. So the first thing you need to think of here is come to. So think about what your teacher would say to you in class. How would your teacher say come in? Think about how you would say come to the St. David's Day party, but we're going to use the word party first. So pop in the chat how we say come to. OK. Now, the, the, some of you will be thinking, well, when, when I'm outside and my teacher's calling me in, they say dewch i mewn, come in. So dewch means come. So we need dewch, die am. So to the party. Now, we've already discussed the word to is e, OK? But to the is ear. So dewch i'r party. Now, how do we spell party and Gymraeg? How do we spell party and Gymraeg? Of course, die am. We spell it as... P-A-R-T-I, P-A-R-T-I, party, OK? So dewch i'r party. Now, do you know what St. David's Day is in Welsh and Gymraeg? Beth ydy St. David's Day? There's a phrase which we which we use. So yn Gymraeg, written in dweud, dydd gwyl dewi, OK? So the first line should read something like, dewch i'r party dydd gwyl dewi. Diam ar ferchog. Dewch i'r party dydd gwyl dewi. You're doing really, really well on this task. Da iawn. OK, now the next line says, so we're going to take it line by line. OK, so another bit of good advice for you would be um, to use a ruler or something like that and cover, um, cover the rest of it. So you're only dealing with it line by line. So you know that you're only dealing with it a couple of words or a couple of phrases at a time. OK, so when? Tuesday, July um, the 10th. So what is the Welsh word for when? Now, we've covered that before. Think about how you say when is your birthday or when do you like going shopping? OK, and it's important you know this. Otherwise, you may write the wrong one. Diane, so when is preed? OK, so you'd copy it down. You'd write the question mark as well. Preed and you'd be writing this on the right hand side. OK, in the box they give you and format it exactly like has been formatted in English. It'll help you not get lost. It'll help you know what you've done. OK, so preed is when. Now, Tuesday we know is actually today. So you should have written it in school today. Deeth mouth. OK, Tuesday deeth mouth. Diane. Now, July came up earlier, so make sure we spell July correctly. How many F's and how many N's? That's it, Diane. Double F, double N in the middle, OK? God, Fennaf. Tenth, Dig. OK, you could either write Dig or you can write Degved. F-E-D follows Dig, OK? What time? Now, you may know what um, how to say um, what time is it. So, Vint or Gloch, what time? Half past six. How do we say half past in Welsh? Half past six. Any ideas? We know that six is chwech, diam. So we've got chwech, half past six. So let's try and work out what half is. OK, and when we've done clocks in school and amser time, this is definitely useful for us. So hanner is half, hanner hour wedi or hanner hanner hour wedi. Half an hour past is what we say. Hanner hour wedi chwech. Okay, hanner hour wedi chwech. Half past six. Right. Let's look at the next line then. Everyone is welcome. I just showed you this phrase. Can you remember it? So what we want to say in Gymraeg really is welcome to everybody, but the e in the middle causes a mutation. So what is welcome? And then how do we say to? And then how do we say all? OK, so split it up like that. Everyone 
welcome to all. Everyone's welcome. Um, and if you get the mutation right as well, even better. OK, and if you learn it but as a mutation, then you're going to be spot on. OK, so Kreuzer is welcome. E Baub, OK, Kreuzer E Baub. And that's something you definitely need to learn. Right, we've got two sentences left. Diane Kreuzer E Baub. Um, two sentences left. There will be food and music all night. OK, there will be. I just went through that with you. Remember how do we say? In the future tense, there will be. So, be of, okay? Be is there will be. And just that one word means that phrase. Be food. What is food in Welsh? Do we know? Be the de food and gumraig. And it's not boita because boita is to eat. So, we need the noun food, okay? And food is boid. So, so far we should have be boid. Ah, uh, um, let's have a look. Ah, we need ah because that's and. Music doesn't start with a vowel, so we're OK. We only need the A. Bydd bwyd a cerddoriaeth, so you will have studied that when you study school subjects. Um, all night is troi'r nos. Through the night is what we say essentially, OK? Bydd bwyd a cerddoriaeth, troi'r nos. Um, and the last, very last one then, let's have a look. For more information, contact. Now it's telling you to contact somebody, okay? Now that means if you see contact or phone or listen um, or send a message or email at the end of the um, translation, they want you to use the command form, okay? So think about the phrase for more information. I just told you it's one definitely worth learning. Am voi or wibodaith, okay? So am um, voi o wybodaeth for more information. So am um, is for moi, am um, voi for more. And why is it am um, voi and not am um, moi? Because there's a mutation caused by am. Um. Am um, voi o wybodaeth, contact. Now that's one we didn't go through at the start, but contact somebody is cysylltu. So if we change that into the command form, it turns to cysylltuch, okay, cysylltuch. That is always followed by a with a root. OK, cysylltwch a. So you need to write cysylltwch a or if it's a vowel, cysylltwch ag, eli. And then what's that word for on? R again. And then you copy the number exactly as it is. If it's an email address, you copy it exactly as it is. But make sure you've got your roof on your a after cysylltwch. OK, because otherwise it doesn't mean the same thing. OK, so what I would definitely do, some tips for your translating. Format it, structure it exactly as, as it has been there. Take it one step at a line, um, one line at a time, sorry, one line at a time. Um, learn a couple of the key phrases, learn the spelling of the months, um, learn the times, learn the spelling of the days, learn the difference between there is, there was and there will be. Um, and definitely look at commands because they do come up a lot in your proofreading and your translation tasks. OK. So Diane on that, some really good um, effort. So Diolch and Var Yam, um, thank you very much for your participation in the lessons today. I hope it's been of help to you. If you have any questions, then pop them in the um, chat. But if not, we'll be back the same time next week, quarter past five for session three. So Diolch and Var Yam, um, a hoil var.